The Inflation Reduction Act is giving people more breathing room, as my dad would say, and it's supercharging the economic transition in key ways. First, it's taking the most aggressive action ever on climate energy, ever. I've long said, and I've, that's why I think all the unions have come along, I've long said, when I think climate, not a joke, I think jobs. I think jobs. <laughs> For real. And by the way, none of this would have happened had the unions not stepped up and supported us. The idea. Why <laughs> wouldn't it? It would not have happened. This law is one of the biggest drivers of jobs and economic growth this country has ever seen. Since I took office, the private sector has announced nearly 400, two, excuse me, $240 billion in new clean energy manufacturing investments. That private sector, $240 billion invested. <laughs> and the law has already created an estimated 170,000 clean energy jobs. In one year, it's estimated that it will, it will, that will grow to 1.5 million more jobs over the next decade. First is one year, now we're talking about the decade. You know, just don't take it from me. The CEO of U.S. Steel called the Inflation Reduction Act manufacturing, he called it the Manufacturing Renaissance Act because it's bringing jobs back to America, manufacturing here in America, made in America. According to leading Wall Street firms, Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs, my broader investment, our broader investment in investing in America agenda is unleashing a boom, a boom of manufacturing investments.